It's about damn time me and Flobo bring you guys another collaboration video series, whatever you want. We've been planning on doing this for a long, 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 long time. And Flobo finally got a PS4, and now, now it's time for us to do a Fantasy Draft My League. We both like posting My League, My GM to our channels. We decided, hey, why not do a My League? It'll be fun, and it certainly will. Now here, I'm going to be rolling the footage of the draft, and you guys will see who I get. All right, so you can see that Flobo lucked out and got the second overall pick. He decided to take the one and only LeBron James, but I probably would have taken Kevin Durant. There's so many good players. I mean, LeBron can't really shoot, can't really shoot, but you know, there's positives and negatives to everybody. So he ended up taking LeBron James. Now I have the 11th pick. Now there are three or four people that I want: Irving, Paul, Wall, or Butler. But I decided to represent Clippers Nation and select the point guard Chris Paul, 88 overall, a mid-range B3 point. Now next, I wanted to get DeAndre, but he got picked by, by the Celtics. Now. I was I definitely wanted a white side white side was definitely a guy that I wanted but as I was looking I saw the guy second from the bottom Kristaps Porzingis the god mr. mr. get booed on draft night and ends up dominating out that, that was a terrible joke now here I just take Rudy Gobert who doesn't want a Rudy Gobert type player on their team whoever doesn't is pretty uh, pretty uh, not smart because Rudy Gobert is a great defender and rebounder. He's a great addition to this team. Now I either want a shooting guard or a small forward. This is in round four. Uh, Carroll ends up being the player that I take. He can shoot threes. He can defend. He can basically do it all, but at a certain level. So I end up taking Demar. Carroll is just starting small forward. Now a shooting guard. The shooting guard position was definitely lacking. I, I was looking at J.R. Smith. Uh, the best best one was Tony Allen. I mean, I would have picked him, but he was in my 2K15 uh, fantasy draft. I ended up picking Shumpert. He's a good defender. He's got a pretty good three-point shot. Now I'm back up. Now we're back at the bench. I'm sorting by age here, looking for some young rookies that may have slid. There's Marcus Smart down there. He's, he's only 20 years old, which is pretty crazy. So, I, uh, there's <laughs> Deli. I hate, I hate that guy so much, but I don't know why 2K gave him a 76 rating. He must be playing well or something. I end up taking Clint Capella. He's a really good rebounder and uh, shot blocker, so he'll be a he'll be a good uh, good addition to the team. So next, I am going to take Marcus Smart, 75 overall. Uh, give me one sec. That was kind of kind of a shot towards uh towards Flobo because you guys may know he is a Celtics fan and he wanted Marcus Smart and he was pretty mad when I when I picked him and we were we were in a uh, in a chat so he was <laughs> he was pretty mad and another another funny thing that happened is um Kelly Olynyk got picked and uh and I also picked Channing Fry here that Channing Fry is actually a beast so yeah Kelly Olynyk got picked and as you guys might know he is his favorite player. So, anyways, I picked Ben McLemore. I was waiting for him. Didn't want him to get picked. He's a good dunk, a good shooter. Now look at this guy. 7 foot 4, 83 mid-range. Who doesn't want a 7 foot 4 center who can shoot the ball? That would be ridiculous to pass on him. Boban Marjanovic. Now I'm looking at a backup small forward. There's there's it's really lacking. I got Pondexter Brewer, Samson Granger. I end up taking Corey Brewer. He's a pretty good defender, I think. Can shoot the ball a little bit. Next, we, I get Adrian Payne. You guys know he makes his way into my into every single one of my series. I don't know how it happens. I guess he is one of my favorite players. I liked him in college. Now next, my second favorite, I don't know, second favorite player in the NBA. Montrez Harrell makes it to the squad. So now this is the rotation here. Capella's a sixth man smart. And I, I will be. I will be messing around with this. I want to get everybody playing time because I wouldn't 
it only makes sense to give every player playing time that drafted them. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time.